Yeah. So I'm just ready for it to be over so I can start making beats, man. Yeah, I feel that. I miss it. Yeah. I miss writing raps and shit, waking yeah. up, listening to records. Yeah, I haven't wrote a rhyme in a minute. Like since I've been doing a few features like the last few months, but yeah. Other than that, like not for myself. <laughs> but I think I, I, I made my first few beats of this year. Yeah. And I still have it. I got some I got I, like the first couple I made. Yeah. <sighs> Got so far. I'm like, should I should I hold these back? <laughs> hey, don't sit on nothing. <laughs> should I hold these? Hey, we not sitting on shit. This yeah, year. yeah. We too old to sit on music. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying try to sell them or keep them for myself. Oh, nah, if it's fire, you keep it for self, man. Yeah, get high on your own supply, man. <laughs> <laughs> That. That's what we doing, man. Yeah, you know, you keep the most fire, fire shit for yourself. That heat, yeah, because you don't want to ever be in a bind where you need to remix one of your own tracks. And you ain't got no fire in the stash. Yeah, you need that folder to be diesel because yeah. I just recently ran into that where I'm like, this one beat on my record, I think I can make better. Uh huh. And then I'm like, do I have anything in the stash though? Right, right. And I had to dig through the folders of things that I never let nobody hear uh -huh. that I set aside for like. And I was like, yeah, I got something in here, man. Okay. But if I didn't do that and I sold the shit, yeah, I got some. I got a couple folders. Is that what I'm saying? I know you got. Yeah, the I got a couple folders. <laughs> Everybody got the. Folders. Yeah, got those set aside folders, <laughs> yeah. not for sale. Right. That's what it's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You need those because when you're making a record, man, you know how it is. You change one thing, you kind of change something. Yeah. Else. Yep. I changed this thing. I gotta change the feel of that. Now yeah. Outro. Okay. So how do I? You gotta have as many bangers in the stash as possible. Yeah. We not sitting on shit no more, man. Yeah. We too old. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> but not everything. Fuck man. that. We gotta ring the towel out. This yeah. Is this. Rest yeah. Just this. let it. Just let it all go. <laughs> let it all go. Ain't nothing left in it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Super duty. Tough work. We here. Yeah. Recording on a, on a different day this week. Yeah. But uh, you know, the people don't know. Hopefully, this will hit on time uh -huh. as usual. And so, uh, yeah, we here, man, in the illustrious Super Duty Studios. You know, Burbank, California. <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, Columbus, Ohio. And uh, yeah, how you doing today, man? Good, man. Yeah. Had a good relaxing weekend with the wifey. You what? know what I mean? That's what's up. Got to get away from the kids for a few oh, days. Yeah, they was, was gone. Yeah, they they left Friday. We got a we got a hotel. And oh, y'all did like that. Oh yeah, we we just got away. Oh, okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like no, like don't call us. Don't you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got like a room. Yeah, it nice. was, yeah. Just chilled out. You know, had a nice dinner last night. And was, you had to clean it up. Huh? No, nope. just, just, just yep. leave your towels on the floor. Yep. Right? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. Nice and comfy. So I'm relaxed. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's you know? good. That's good. That's yeah. what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go to work tomorrow though. I do. It's yeah, Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Which is you know a good segue to this week's topic right right you know this week we are talking about how to use your art to survive your job mm. and this goes out to all the working folk out there yes yes who have a passion and have work days that are very trying yes yes and it's very easy to get discouraged on these jobs yes and sometimes the momentum of your job will make you not even want to do the art Oh, yeah. Because you're there so long. So in this episode, this goes out to everybody with a real job. And that's probably all of our listeners. Yeah, most of them. I don't think them. none of y'all are just like chilling, sitting yeah. on your hands. Yeah, <laughs> most of them, I'm sure. <laughs> you know, we're going to talk about, you know, just how to use this shit properly and to gain momentum with your art. So, uh, yeah, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. All right. We got you stuck off the realness, the most infamous, you heard of us, official podcast murderers, the show comes equipped with few points to share, grown man ideas for all those who care and want to grow, so go ahead and download, every single week with a brand new episode, you're not alone in this world cousin, so we share information and honest discussion, and keep repping the culture, like we supposed to, they spread gossip but they never come close to, I can hear it inside their tone, they talk about the industry but never left their home you get laced up with bullet points and such plus empowering topics that they never would touch you can put your whole network against the team but super duty tough works the mvp most valuable podcast on mp3 priceless info but all of it's free huh. so take these words home and think them through super duty tough work is coming at you now listening to Super Duty Tough Work with your host, Blueprint, raw and uncut, adult conversations, no shucking, no jiving, and no bullshit.
All right, folks, back in the building. Super duty tough work. Yeah. Those dudes. We're going to talk about how to use your art to survive your job. Number one mm. tip visualize. That means that while you're sitting there listening to these uninteresting conversations, <laughs> <laughs> while these reports you know and these people who you don't like to deal with mm. are in your face talking about things that you are not really interested in mm -hmm. you have to visualize your art yes when you're because you can't exactly do it mm -hmm. you have to be thinking why am i going through this right and then you have to think about the end game mm -hmm. visualize the finish line while you're in the trenches at work yeah because if you don't <laughs> that end. Ugh. I used to do this all the time at my last job. Is when I was working, it was like, okay, what is my plan? You know what I'm saying? To minimize this portion of my life. Yeah. And maximize this other portion of my life that I really enjoy. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times it was hard. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, especially having family and. You know, you got it. You basically got to be there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You have to have the job. Yes. To supplement the other parts of your life and to supplement your art. Yeah. You know, you got to bring money in in order to support your own, your, your art. You know what I'm saying? So, but visualization is very important. Yeah. Extremely important. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, you got, if you can't see it. Oh, yeah. How do you begin then to work? towards it right how do you then begin to commit time for it to mm -hmm. say okay i'm gonna set aside you gotta actually start at the end right like what does my life look like when i have this thing together right you know how does my album look when it's done mm -hmm. how does that make me feel how does that uh, increase my 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 enjoyment of life right and if you can't visualize it it's gonna be very hard to like get the momentum to to pour into your art like you need to to get ahead yeah to even start yeah you know you can't visualize it you don't even know where to start <laughs> it's true it's true yeah man and so 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 at work is very important man there's gonna be meetings you gotta sit through mm -hmm. there's gonna be people you don't like mm -hmm. it's gonna be uh, jobs and positions that are not enjoyable that are demanding and it's very important important that you visualize where you're supposed to be mm -hmm. where you would like to be right you know you got to be in one place physically but your mind is going to be somewhere else exactly your mind is in the studio your exactly. mind is creating yeah while people talk about you about talking to you about mundane shit mm -hmm. you're just gonna have this blank stare like yeah uh, <laughs> right yeah right and they're gonna be like man he's just so agreeable but nah. they don't know that that's only because your mind is in a completely different place <laughs> right i'm at use kids right now <laughs> right right i'm thinking <laughs> I know it looks like I'm paying attention to right. you, but this glaze over my eyes is because I'm actually digging through the crates right now. Right, right, You know, right. I'm visualizing my sampler and uh -huh. that new feature I just read about. Tonight. Yeah, you know, yeah. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Yeah. I, you know, I saw a tutorial last night when I went to bed and I, I'm just imagining this, not you. Right. You know. Yeah. That is so real. So I'm real. through you at my dreams, mm -hmm. you know. So. <laughs> yeah. But that's number one. You got to visualize it. Okay, so number two way to use your art to survive your job is to have a plan yeah. and a to-do list. Uh -huh. Like you said, if you don't even know where you're going, yeah. how do you plan it? Yeah, You got to be able to say, okay, this is what it looks like. Now, what do I need to do to, to do it? And so your plan, you got to walk through those steps at work, man. You're at work. You're like, okay, man, well, my plan now is that, okay, maybe... I get an hour off here mm -hmm. or maybe um, I'm going to to work at this time and I got an hour to listen to a podcast. Yep. Maybe I will choose to listen to things that inspire me. Right. Maybe that's part of my plan. Maybe my plan is to to make sure I can hit uh, a record store on the way home. Yeah. Or maybe my plan is to make sure that this person can create this weekend. So I'm locking in my sessions on some creative shit yep. while I'm at work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that now I have a plan of attack that. When I'm bogged down with work and when I absolutely hate being there, mm -hmm. I can look at my plan and say, OK, this part of my art is moving forward. Yeah. Because if you can't say that, what do you do? 
Yeah, I mean, I used to answer my email, my business email yeah. at work in between doing work. Very smart. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to make sure, like, I wasn't completely ignoring, you know, my plan mm-hmm. to get things moving yeah. in that direction. Like, I would I would answer email here and there. I would, you know, make sure that I was still checking, checking in on that side of the business. You know, while I was so it still looked like I was working. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you can answer <laughs> you email, get paid for it. right? You get paid for it. So you know, like working both jobs. Yeah. You know, at, I responding to email. You know, yeah. all that stuff. Like I definitely made sure to try to at least have a plan within yeah. my day. Like, all right, you know, this is when I usually come in, do my email. So let me do both emails yeah. in the process of that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That, I'm sure, kept a fire going. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, because you're sitting there and like you're saying the amount of business you handle for other people Mm -hmm. versus the amount that you handle for yourself it can be discouraging sometimes oh god you know you're like oh god (laughs) it it hurts sometimes yeah because then you get tired and then you don't feel like doing your own stuff yeah because it's like damn do i want to sit at a computer for another hour when i get home Mm -hmm. after i've been sitting at a computer for eight hours (laughs) doing this stuff yes that i really don't want to be doing yep how much it's like it's like you got to answer that question like how much do I really want this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a million dollar question. How right much do I, how how important is it that I get this personal time? Yeah. Because I'm tired of looking at computer screens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck this mouse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck this real. cubicle. Right, fuck all of that. The whole shit. All fuck of that. Office. No, I don't want to be in here. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's very mundane, man. But yeah, having a plan, I also think that there's something to uh, be gained about like, printing your plan out yeah or writing it out with your hand Mm -hmm. you know like if you got a notebook where you're writing your your work tasks and they take up 90 percent of that page yeah jot down something for your art that needs to be done at the top of that yeah or in a little corner of that or at the bottom of that yeah so that as you go through these things you say oh yeah my i got i do have something to do for myself for my art today right i do need to call this pressing plan or this artist or this graphic designer I do have to follow up on the show booking. I still got to book this venue. I still got to, you know what I'm saying? Like right. all these things, I still got to update my website. So let me do this before I forget. Right. Write it in the same place, even if you got it in two places. Mm-hmm. Because seeing that plan there is going to help give you the energy you need to like push through those days, man. Yeah, definitely. You know, so that's number two, you know. And then also, but before we can get to number three, you have to define what you're going to be doing after work. Yep. Because your plan should not just say, Okay, I'm gonna do these things. You should be listening as organized as you are with your work. Oh yeah, you should be with your career exactly. And, and if you're not, then there's no way you'll be organized enough to do what you need to do in as little of a time as you're gonna have. Yeah, shit is out of balance. Yeah, like you gotta have some balance to your personal and your work. Yeah, work. You know. Yeah, yeah. So that's number two. All right, number three, and this is something not that everybody can do, but I'm gonna put it here anyway. Number three is bring a small tool to work a creative tool to work so like say you know for us there are beat making apps oh yeah right all over it like you can have a a little npc beat making app and just program drums on your thing during your lunch break while you're sitting there i mean Mm -hmm. you can dumb out and you know talk to your coworkers. yeah or you can do that yeah or you could have something on your laptop where if you're if you go on a break and you get to take your laptop with you Mm -hmm. maybe some cats will bring a damn npc to to work Mm -hmm. uh be in your car yeah for that work break just fucking around go drive around a corner go somewhere else go to a coffee shop Mm -hmm. um but if you're a writer, you know, bring your your, your journal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're an artist, a visual artist, bring your notepad so you can sketch, yep. your sketchbook. Um, whatever you do, try to bring a smaller version, more compact version of it with you as you work. Mm-hmm. So that when you do have those moments of downtime, they're not wasted. Yeah. Yeah. Cool thing is I used to be able to eat at my desk. Yeah. So I would always eat an hour before my lunch break and I always brought my laptop I had a small controller yeah and I would use that hour so to work on beats when I was learning how to make beats yeah you know I would bring my laptop and a small controller so I could use that hour that I had to work on beats and I would eat at my desk an hour before my actual lunch break that's dope you know what so I'm saying? then you had that whole so hour I had that whole hour to just dumb out fire. and you know work on beats look at tutorials all that kind of shit yeah man I think that's essential man because you'll never be able to do what you can do at home right at work but but you don't have to yeah just be there like like we're writers so like if if i have a beat to write to mm-hmm. all i need is a list on a loop for 15 minutes yeah the concepts start coming yeah i start jotting that opening line or two 
Yeah. And I, maybe I only get two or three lines at work. Mm-hmm. But those are the most important lines anyway. Yeah, I used to write at work all the time. Yeah. Like, that that was my thing. Like, I would write at work better than I would write at home. <laughs> just because my mind is already moving, yeah. you know, because of work anyway. Mm-hmm. So then it would give me, like, you know, that your mind's already racing and stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and that's important, man. So that's uh, number three. Uh, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. All right. What up, everybody? Blueprint here to let you guys know that all three of my books are finally back in stock. That means right here, What a Night. This book is back in stock. It's $10. This is a book about the worst shows in my career. That's 10. Word is Blog Volume 1 is back in stock. That's $10. And also, The Making of Adventures in Counterculture. This book is about my Adventures in Counterculture album. If you have the album, you love the album, you should have a book too. That's $10. All three of these books are back in stock uh, for $10 each, or you can get all three of them for just $25 right now on waitlist.net. That's all I got today. Uh, thanks for your support. Peace. Super right. duty tough work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ed- editing out the, the fuck ups. Nah, I mean. Every now and again. Nah, I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Three down. Six more to go. Number four. Mm-hmm. Bring books to work. This means that if you are a producer, if you're an artist, any creative endeavor you have, there are books you should be reading right. that help you learn your trade better. Mm-hmm. If those books are not in your car, in your bag, at your desk, you slip it. Yep. Because just like you got time to read all them hundred manuals uh-huh. on some shit that you don't care about, yep. you should be stealing 15, 20 minutes to read about something that you actually love doing. Yep. And if you ain't doing that, you fucking up. Yeah. Chapter. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got a half hour for lunch, hour for lunch, while you're eating, you can read. How long it take to eat? 15 minutes. Max. Maybe. Come on. It only take longer when you go out with everybody else. Yeah. Because then you talk in. And, yeah. You know, that's why I don't eat with people. Yeah, the group ordered. We'll just wait yeah, eat at the same time. Nah. It's 30 minutes right there. Yeah. You get your food. You eat in 20 minutes. You got to be back at 10. Yeah. You really only had 20 minutes. Right. And you was eating that time. Yeah. So it's like, nah, man. Bring your book. Yeah. Eat to the first 15 minutes. Now you got 45 minutes to to, to sharpen your shit. Yeah. You know, and especially in this era where we got all this technology. Yeah. You got to read the manuals. Yeah. Because you don't. And the thing is, like, if with re, with books, you don't have to have physical books no more. Thank you. Read it on your phone. Put it on your Kindle. You'll put it on your Kindle. Whatever. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you can always have these things at your fingertips, have them at your dis- disposal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, fools be pooping at work. Right. Put the Kindle app on your phone. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get your skills right while you're in the john. You yep. know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm... Okay, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, it makes you feel so much better. Mm-hmm. You know, your art, and because you're reading about your art at work, it helps you deal with whatever you're doing at your art and survive that situation, which you don't want to be in right. anyway. Right, So that's number four. Mm-hmm. Number five mm. way to use your art to survive your job is you either tell one person or nobody at all. Yeah. And cats know what it's like to have your cover blown at work. Yeah. You don't really be feeling that shit. The only problem is that one person will always find out. Right. But when they find out, you got to swear to them in secrecy. Yeah. You're like, bro. Let me take, let me talk. Let me hide you. <laughs> let me put you to the side. Like, hey, look, man, I know you know. Uh-huh. But it would mean a lot to me. I really need you to not tell nobody. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if that one person knows, Mm -hmm. but otherwise you can't tell nobody. Right. And it, because once you do, fool's going to be all in your shit. All in your shit. (laughs) Yo, spit something. Yeah. Give me some bars. Yeah, man. I heard you. I seen you on YouTube. Right. Yo, the homie down the ways, we was looking at your YouTube all yesterday at lunch break. Yeah. They come in with like, oh yeah, yo, yeah. You know, fucking with you. My cousin rap. (laughs) Right, right. I'm gonna link y'all. You know, you're like, uh, yo, yo. You know, we got the company party coming up. You should do. You should perform. You should, yeah, you should do something. <laughs> Dog, that, that shit is the worst. That shit is the worst. Have you rapping at the Christmas party? Yeah. You know, and so like, don't tell nobody you work. I mean, you rap, but yeah. whatever you do, right? Um, because that's gonna that's gonna help your sanity. Mm-hmm. You need to be able to escape and be productive. Why you there? Right. And when those people start learning, it, 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 your worlds collide. Yeah. And so you don't want that. Don't want it at all. So that's number five. Yeah. Okay. Number six. Mm. Review your work at work. This is essential. Essential. <laughs> like when working on my album. Yeah. On the way to work. Yep. 
way home. Mm-hmm. That's what you bumping. That's a good hour plus right there. Yeah, if you can, and and if you could listen to music at your desk. Yes. you know what I'm saying you review beats. Yeah, and go over. You know, if you if you write, if you're you know writing, listen to the beats that you're writing to. Yes. You know, there's always ways to sneak that in. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. And there's plenty of time because mm-hmm. it's not like you're trying to even create. You're just saying, okay. This is what I already got. Right. Let me just review it. Mm-hmm. Let me just stress test it. Yeah. Let me try to poke holes in it. Yeah. Because if I can find these holes in it now, when I can't create it, then when I sit down to create, I'll have a better plan. Yeah. You know, so while you're at work, you should be listening to every fucking demo you've ever created and mm-hmm. like every fucking sketch you've ever done that you're working on right now. And in your mind, you're visualizing what's, where it needs to go. Yeah. But you have to be able to review it while you're there. Because mm-hmm. not only will it give you the plan, It'll make you feel like your life ain't just working. Yeah. You're like, damn, I'm more than just an employee at this spot. Exactly. Yeah, you get that time to just kind of look over and take your mind off of your work. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, the drive into work is a great place to listen to music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're listening to music anyway. Yes. Most likely. Yeah. So why not listen to your own shit? Bump your own Bump shit. Bump your own <laughs> shit. Review your own <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Take mental notes while you're doing that. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. And and this is this is one that the people who kind of have that I don't like listening to my own shit or they think that something's wrong with bumping their own shit. They're going to fuck up on this one. Yeah, like I, I never understood that. Nah, like you got to be a fan of your own shit enough to be able to listen to it and improve upon it. If you ain't a fan, though, why you, how you expect other motherfuckers to be a fan? Yeah. What fight dogs say, if I don't say it, tell me who the hell right. else will, you know. Yeah, you got to be bumping your own shit mm-hmm. all the time. I bump my shit all the time. Yes. Especially when I'm in like the final 25% of finishing that album. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm bumping it every day. Yeah. The last weekend, the last week, all I've been doing is driving around listening to mixes of my album in my car. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's how you do it. I catch little things. Oh, man, I just heard that. Okay. that tra- Okay, let me work on that next time. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't really have an hour commute. Mm-hmm. If I had an hour commute, people would be sick of me playing that shit. <laughs> right. Non stop. Right, right. Don't get in your car with the man. He's going to be playing this record yeah. for the next six months. Mm-hmm. It's going to come out, and I might not play it at all for him. Exactly. After it's out? Yeah, I don't need to. Yeah, no need to. But you got to review your work, and you need a platform to do it. And sometimes it's best to do it in a studio, in a place where you're not, it's not your creative space. Right. Like if I'm listening to my music in my studio, I'm hearing it completely differently than I am. When I'm out and about. Yeah, because if I'm listening in my studio, then I'm working on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, like, that's in my mind. That's what I'm doing. I can't enjoy it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or I can't listen to it objectively when I'm listening to it in my studio as much because I'm, if I hear something, then I feel like I got to fix it right then and there. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to taking it all in mm-hmm. and getting a broader picture of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've run notes on my phone uh, on a notes app where just like as I'm listening to my record, Every little little thought I have about mm-hmm. how it could be improved, I just write it right then and there. Yeah, me too. You know, I hit a stop sign. Okay, boom, that kick is a little too loud. Mm-hmm. Boom, keep going. Okay, that outro, that thing don't echo quite long enough. Mm-hmm. Make that echo longer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then I, oh, I end up with like 10 little things. And I just sit on, you know, for an hour or two. I come home and then later that night when I'm working on it, I go through. Boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. Knock out all of them real quick. Yeah. Burn another CD, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Do the same thing tomorrow. Yeah. And you keep doing that and you keep getting better. And then like, if you can do that while you're at your work, mm-hmm. while you're getting paid to do something else, yeah. you're the man. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. So yeah, that's number six. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. What's up, everybody? The deal we're running today on waitlist.net is two edit monster CD plus two edit monster t-shirt for just $20 total. That's the t-shirt and the CD for $20 total. Uh, the t-shirt we have in every size, a small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. Every single size, men's sizes, we ship internationally. So you can get the CD and the t-shirt, I should say, CD and a t-shirt for just $20 on waitlist.net. Uh, go there right now and uh, support the movement. Thank you. Peace. Okay. Super Dute. A tough wood irk. Word. Three joints left. How to survive your job using your art. Mm-hmm. Number seven. Bring your artistic goals to work. Yes. 
anybody who's worked in corporate America know that y'all be having like goals and mm-hmm. meetings and expectations and yeah. you know the milestones mm-hmm. as they call them and you know your personal development as an employee your boss will give them to you too yeah. like, hey I'd like you to work on this 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 yeah, it's the beginning of the year too so everybody getting them <laughs> performance reviews yeah performance review time <laughs> yeah. everybody getting them yeah. <laughs> so as you get your performance reviews you should be doing the same thing with your art yeah you should be thinking, what are my goals for this year developmentally? Mm-hmm. Like, what do I need to do to become a better artist on a broad scale? Mm-hmm. And you should have three goals at least right. every year. Every day you go to work, you should have two or three things. So for me, it could be, okay, well, my two or three things are, okay, I'm going to write a book this year. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to fucking finish my album. I'm going a, I'm to a tour, whatever. Mm-hmm. Those are three things that take a year at least. Yeah. Yeah. And so if I have a little note of those things, those goals there while I'm doing other things, mm-hmm. it keeps me, you know, oriented properly All right. to where when I get off track or I feel lost and I feel discouraged. Wait a minute. Where am I doing? Why am I doing this? What am I going through this? It's mm-hmm. just, you have those moments of doubt. Boom. OK, this is this. OK, let me get back on that. Yeah. I ain't touched that in a week. Mm, I've been slack. I ain't even started that one yet. Yeah. Keep these things nearby because they'll keep you focused on what you need to be doing while you're in the belly of the beast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like something that I did at the end of this year when I was doing my performance review, yeah. like I actually did something similar for my art yeah. to see what I've done throughout the year yeah, and see what goals that I had, what did I actually achieve, what and, and what I need to approve upon for the following year. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So like doing something like that and having that in the same place that you have your actual work, you know, goals and all of that stuff is very helpful because it, yeah. it, 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 it helps you have balance. You know what I'm saying? It helps you think like, okay, I got this to do, but I also am still moving towards something that I love. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. Number eight. Mm-hmm. Overtime money is for your dreams. Oh, this is one people don't want to talk about. Yeah, we don't talk about this. <laughs> what are you talking about, friend? I worked at OT so I can get that new PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, We're not doing that this year. Yeah. This year, the overtime money is for your dreams. Mm. The extra bag, that's for your, that's for your dreams, man. Yeah. If you go to work 40 hours a week and they got you working 50 this week, that extra 10 hours you of work you're doing, mm-hmm. of money you making, set that aside for your dreams. Yeah. Set that aside so that when it's time, to put money into your craft you're not sitting there oh man i guess i gotta work overtime this week yep. i guess i just ain't got it i'll wait till i'll save up mm-hmm. no don't save up mm-hmm. pull a little bit aside every time yeah. man you know a lot of cats will you know if you got a job that's solid and you got a nice car man work uber once a week yeah that's it yeah you could drive you could you could get a, a couple hundred dollars that's it in a weekend friday night Saturday night, doing Uber in a in a good city in a good area, yep. you are gonna make a hundred, two hundred bucks. Easy. Do that shit for, you know, six months. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you got a couple thousand dollars sitting yep. there that you didn't even, you know. So then, when it's time to make decisions about your art, your mm-hmm. craft, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Your decision is not based upon how much money you got, right? And that's the problem we fall into now, or how much time you have, because yep. people say, "Man, I'd like to put out some vinyl this year, but." I ain't got the money. Mm-hmm. How to get the money? I gotta work more. I ain't got the time. Yep. So no vinyl. Mm-hmm. Maybe next record. Yep. That's a fucked up way to decide whether you get vinyl or not. Or it whether is. you whether you get this thing, or whether I get t-shirts, or whether I get physical product at all. People are doing that now. Mm-hmm. And it's a real thing, but at the same time, it's like, hey man, you gotta start early. Yeah. Because you hate to be behind the eight ball after you got a release date. Mm-hmm. And then you realize I don't have enough to get the things I would like to get to promote this album yeah and the only way to do that is to start early you work a little extra Mm -hmm. sit that extra money aside yeah like hey man this this uber shit is for that or this is fucking whatever i work in this place once a week i go and bar back there i make a hundred dollars i whatever Mm -hmm. i just sit that over there yeah And, and that's the only way that you will actually be able to associate your job with your art in a mm-hmm. positive way. Yeah. Because if your money from your job is always going towards bills. Oh yeah. Towards survival. Yeah. It's discouraging. It's extremely discouraging. Yeah. Like one, something that me and uh, me and my wife discussed this year, cause I'm, I'm getting like a three, I think three, 4% raise. Yeah. So that extra 4% 
it's just going into savings. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like we living fine off of what I'm making now yep. and what she's making. So when we get our raises for this year, yep. that extra money just going into savings and we can use it for, you yeah. know, even, you know, outside of art, but just like, yeah, just for whatever extra stuff. If we want to yeah. have a vacation. If we want to get some new furniture, yeah. we want to, you know what I'm saying? Like if buy I need a house, yeah, buy a house, <laughs> you, never know. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like all of that stuff. So, you know, that's something that I think cats should think about more often is like when you do get extra money, especially if you live in all right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If you live in all right now, yeah. when you get that extra, put that in savings, yeah. you know, especially if you don't have a family and it's just you and all you got, you know what I'm saying? Like all you got to worry about is you like put that away. That could be for the next album. That could be for that new mixer you want. That could be for, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah plan plan that shit better yeah because think about all the things like for us you know back in the day you know when cats wanted to tour we didn't always have crazy paydays to go on tour right it would be situations where it's like yo y'all get here Mm -hmm. it'll be some people here you can make some money right but you had to have enough money to get there yes it's called tour support yes and if the artist didn't have it in the label would give it to him like hey because we believe that you being out there promoting this record is good for everybody (laughs) right right so we're gonna help you get the hotel we're Mm -hmm. gonna pay for some guys but it's the same thing you gotta support your dreams in the same manner yeah because you doing them makes you happier Mm -hmm. makes your family happier you know what i'm saying it makes you more motivated at work because now you got money to pursue your dreams yeah and if you don't, you're going to hate that job. Exactly. Sometimes it don't even be the job. Nah. Motherfuckers hate working because they ain't pursuing their dreams. Right. It might You might have a great job. Yeah. But the fact that you have to work. Yeah. And you can't pursue what you want to pursue. It can make you resentful. <laughs> yeah. It can make you it's resentful. It's fucked up. Like, yeah, the job is cool, but I hate it. Why you hate it, man? It, but then as soon as you. Ain't be, what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. But why ain't you doing what you're supposed to be doing? And then you ain't doing it. And, but you take it out on a job yeah. because you broke all the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Work extra mm-hmm. and put the extra towards your dream. Yeah. And then watch how your attitude towards your job changes. Exactly. Because then it's like, oh, nah, this is hard work right here. Mm-hmm. This is for that new MP. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is for that studio time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get out of here. I'm energized when I leave the job now right, right. instead of defeated mm-hmm. because I know that not only do I have the time, I have the resources to pursue my craft. Yep. That's number eight, nine, mm-hmm. last joint. Maximize your time off. Yeah. That means, yo, man, just because you ain't working don't mean you ain't got to do shit. Yeah, just because you on vacation don't mean you on vacation. <laughs> Come on, man. You sitting on your hands. Yeah, you just sitting there watching TV, watching Netflix. I'm off work, bro. Yeah. I'm off. Nah, bro. Like, yo, you, okay, you work eight hours a day. You sleep eight hours a day. Mm-hmm. Last I checked, you still got another eight. Facts. What you doing with that last eight, G? Facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maximize your time off. If you got that last eight, okay, let's say you give four of that last eight to your family. Mm-hmm. Or two to your family, two to two, two to napping. Mm-hmm. You still got four, G. Yeah. What you doing? What you doing? Yeah, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? You got to ask some important questions, man. If you're not doing shit, you're not maximizing your time off, man. Yeah. No one likes to have to work a lot of hours for a job that they really ain't passionate about Mm -hmm. i get it but the only thing worse than working a job that you don't even like is not pursuing what you love during the time that you actually have yeah because now you're compounding the situation right Right. because you're resenting more (laughs) you're resenting more yeah like man not only am i not on top of this thing i'm gonna let my passion and my art slip Mm -hmm. that's even worse yeah whereas the person who works the same job as you but maximizes his time off over over the years he's going to become he's going to get ahead yeah because he was putting all his extra time i mean that's how i got here mm-hmm. i never i never had a job where i could work low hours mm-hmm. from the time i got out of college i was working 50 hours a week the years the two three years before i quit the tweet from 99 to 2001 2002 and i resigned those three years i was working 60 hours a week Mm -hmm. sometimes 70 because we had the y2k shit then we had all this these mergers and Mm -hmm. shit i was legit working from 9 a.m to 8 p.m every night Mm -hmm. but from 8 (laughs) p.m to 11 yeah i would make a beat Uh i would write a rhyme and then all day on saturdays all day on sundays yeah i would go hard on a craft Mm -hmm. eventually and that made the job more tolerable right but eventually 
the work we were doing, the records were getting done, the mm-hmm. records were coming out, people were liking the records. Yeah. I was getting this was getting that person, then the opportunity started to flow. Yeah. But it came because I maximized my time off. I mm-hmm. wasn't kicking it in no bars back then. Right. I wasn't doing nothing goofy with my time. I, I didn't even really drink or smoke back then. Right. I was just yeah. This is what I want. Yeah. I'm gonna make beats. I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna write rhymes. We're gonna make songs. We're gonna put the shit out. Yeah. And that's how you have to be because you don't know. You may never get more time than you got right now. Oh yeah. Like what if somebody says, Yeah, man, you're never gonna have more time than you got right now. In fact, every year for the rest of your life, you're gonna have a little less time to, pr- to pursue your craft. I mean, that's but that's that's life. Yeah. That's how life really is. Cause every year it seems like, especially when you have children, as they get older yeah. and they get more involved in shit, yeah. then they got then you get to a point where it's college and then it's prom and all this like they take up a lot more of your time than when they're little. Yes. You know what I'm saying? When they're little, you can fucking put them in a playpen, throw a little toy in there (laughs) and they good. You know what I'm saying? Like as they get older and they get more involved in living life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to worry about them. Then you got to get them to soccer practice. You got to get them here and get them there. So you do have a little less time as especially having a family as they get older. So you really got to make plans. Yeah. Really got to maximize that time, especially the weekends. Like you literally have two days. Yeah. If you don't work on the weekends where you really don't have anything else to do. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like you can take three, four hours in the morning, spend it with your family. But, you know, from one to five, go dig. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? Go listen to records. Thank go you. watch some tutorials. You know what I'm saying? Like all that stuff. Like it's, it's very important and it keeps you sane. Yes. And it gives you something to look forward to. <laughs> It's real. You know, instead of, yeah. oh, I just got these two days. I'm just going to sit around and not do nothing. Yeah. Watch football all day. Sit on the couch. Yeah. And nothing. then be mad when you got to go back to work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't waste it. Yeah. 48 hours. Yeah. You're unfulfilled. Yeah. Unfulfilled, man. Yeah. I think people tend to look at it with this thing like they subconsciously believe that every year that I keep grinding. I'm going to get more time mm-hmm. the next year because I'm grinding now. Mm-hmm. But like, what if life is set up? To where you don't get more time. You just have to. Then that would make you change your perspective. If you tell a little motherfucker today. Hey man. Don't assume you're going to get more time as your kids get older. Mm-hmm. It's actually the opposite. It's They'd very like whoa. Up. Yeah. I thought this whole time that the most time I would spend would be the most the early. Mm-hmm. And then I get more time. No. Nah. No. It doesn't change. No. Until you leave your house. It doesn't yeah. change. Yeah. It gets, wor- it gets, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. You have more time. Because yeah. they do more shit now. Yeah. So. Nope. Sorry. If people knew that. In regards to every aspect of their life, mm-hmm. they will go about shit completely differently. Yeah. Then assuming that just by default, right, that I'll get more time. Yeah. Just because I'm working hard. Yeah. No, it's the opposite. You don't get more time. Mm-hmm. Everybody get the same twenty four hours, man. Yeah. Is is the only thing you that changes is your perspective on time. Yeah, and your usage of it. Usage of it. Yeah, because once you change, like, oh wait a minute, this time is valuable. Mm-hmm. I just can't sit back here and like, yo, the kids is gone. Beats is getting made. Right. I got three. I got, I got, a, I got three hours to see if I can make three fire beats. Yep. If maybe I'm going to try, mm-hmm. I'm going to just make as many as I can. In those three hours when I'm done, I'm done. Yep. It's back to that. But if you secretly believe that, oh yeah, the time is just supposed to come to me mm-hmm. because time has passed and things should just get easy. Nah. It don't work like that, man. You got to make it. Yeah. You got to make time yeah. for the things that's important to you. Yeah. So maximize your time off, man. Yeah. The last joint. Yeah, that's it. That's it, man. So let me read them back. You know, this is using your art to survive your job. Number one, visualize. Number two, have a plan and a to-do list. Number three, bring a small tool to create to work. Number four, bring books. Number five, tell one person or nobody. Number six, review your work at work. Number seven, bring your artistic goals to work. Number eight, Overtime money is for your dreams. And number nine, maximize your time off. Word. That's it this week. See y'all next week. Peace. Peace. Thank you for listening to Super Duty Tough Work. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Follow the podcast on SoundCloud. Number six. I mean, super duty, tough work. At work. Number seven.